What is going on? Uh, it is a delightfully brisk fall day here in Toronto, as you can tell by the de bulge debris everywhere. Uh, <laughs> what we're going to do today is we are going to do a variation of one of our workouts. It's the upper body workout from our 30 day badassery 1.0 program. It's a 30 day body weight program, five workouts a week. You do a leg, an upper body, a core, and two cardio workouts a week. Each week the workouts get progressively more challenging. And this is a sample of the week three upper body portion. So it's not the complete workout, it's a variation of it. We're gonna be doing four exercises uh, from it. 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off, all upper body, three laps through, form, form, form. Got anything else? No, let's right. get to it. Let's get to it. So as usual, you guys, obviously, when you do this, you want to start with the warm up um, and we're, you're going to do the cool down. But because we're fitting it into 15 minutes, we're going to just go straight into it. Yes. All right? Yes, we are. <laughs> All right. So we're going to have Rob start. Yes, okay. I'm starting. So Rob is going to start with staggered push ups in about 15 seconds. So remember, with the staggered push up, the setup for the hands are the one hand is slightly more in front than the other. So it's a kind of asymmetric setup here. Okay. Fancy word. Yes, very fancy. Back is neutral, abs are tight, feet shoulder width apart, and Why we go in two, this? one, and here we go. So 40 seconds, slow controlled, and then each, in between each push up, you're changing the position of your hands. So you're alternating which hand is more in front, which is one is further down. Okay. So again, at any given point, you want to make sure that the hand that's higher up is in line with the chest, not the shoulder. So you're really focusing on bringing the other hand below the chest here. Still working the chest, just changing the angle at which we're targeting that muscle makes that exercise more challenging. Woo! Yes, 10 more seconds. Nice, strong inhale on the way down. Exhale up, slow, controlled. Three, two, one. All right, tricep dips. Okay, so you can use a chair for this or a couch, anything sturdy. Hold on, That's there we go. Very nice of you to pull out the chair for me. Oh, you're very welcome. Don't get used to it too much. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, so tricep dips, hands on the corner of the chair or the couch. Hips are staying nice and close to the chair. Head is in line with the spine, shoulders down, chest is out open, abs are tight, slow controlled. So you're gonna, you're gonna give it a nice little pause at the bottom and then nice, slow controlled on the way up. Okay, so you're going down. Notice how Rob's elbows are at 90 degrees bent at the bottom of that tricep dips, his bum stays close to the chair. Okay, so his back is neutral, he's going just straight down. And then exhale straight up, really focusing on targeting the back of the arms here. And we have five more seconds to go. Three, two, and one. Awesome right. job. What you don't want to be doing during this exercise is what Bruce is doing, and that's nothing and lying on the ground. <laughs> so Dee's going to take over the next two. We're doing a high-low plank. A lot of people screw this up. Uh, All right, so you can do this from your toes or your knees. High plank position. Nice neutral back. Pressing hard to the floor. Dee's going to go that horizontal pull. So once again, you can do this from your toes or your knees. What you can do is if you do go from your toes, you can have your feet a little bit wider just to kind of keep yourself honest. I don't know if you could hear that. Those are geese flying away to the south. Smart birds. <laughs> uh, pull. And what you want to think about doing is you're doing this, really grab the air, pull the air, have some resistance and really feel it up in here in your lat. So your arms are extended. You can start pulling back that elbow and then squeezing that shoulder blade. All right, so now she's gonna do the high-low planks. And once again, like I was saying before, a lot of people do this uh, wrong. So we go for speed. You don't want to necessarily go this for speed. You really want to get that strong press. So Dee's starting in her low plank position, knees on the ground, or you can go toes. And notice where Dee is putting her hand. She's putting her hand right where that elbow was. A lot of people just kind of shorten it and then you just strain the shoulder too much. Put it right underneath your elbow. Strong press, it's way more delightful. There you go. So you really wanna bring in that chest to help out. 
Notice that Dee's bringing her butt down. Her whole body's lifting and lowering at the same pace. She's not kind of keeping her butt up in the air and just lowering her upper body. So you really want to squeeze your abs in your butt the whole time as you press and lower. Notice she's going to the knees now, but still maintaining that nice angle to make sure she's using her abs. There we go. That is lap number one. We are going up to the top again. Beautiful. So Rob's turn. Okay. Started push-ups from the top here. <clears throat> So, because this is version of from a week three of our of our program, in weeks one to have an easier version, modified versions of the push-ups, we're progressing things along as we go in the program to make sure we continue challenging your body. Okay, so you can do the staggered push-up also on your knees as well as a modification. So just bump, make sure your bum stays down, back stays in a neutral, so you're not sticking your tissue out. Abs are engaged, nice, slow, controlled and really paying attention to the placement of those hands right through here. Good. And again, feet closer together will make it more challenging. Feet further apart, well, increasing that base of support will make it a bit more manageable as well. And we only have five more seconds here, so nice deep breaths, just a couple of last reps. And done and done. All right, press up this. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Uh, customer service. I just don't want you to get killed, that's all. Okay. Don't get used to it though. Well aware. <laughs> all right guys, nice and strong tricep dips here. Okay, slow, controlled. So again, keeping your body close to the chair or the couch, whatever it is that you're using for this. Pressing through the heels, head is up, shoulders down. So you're not caving, you're not rounding your shoulders. You're keeping that chest beautifully open, nice long spine here, slow controlled. Give it a nice long pause at the bottom to really hit those triceps. And we have 15 seconds, almost there. Strong exhale, pressing to the top, 10, nice. If you wanna make this a little bit harder, you can extend your legs out. Good, that's it. And done and done, awesome. Alrighty, so back to those horizontal pulls. Alright, so you're just doing a one arm, but you're still mimicking like if you're doing a pull up or if you're doing a lat pull with the bar. Same idea, but we're just using one arm. So you really want to think about using your back. Alright, so here we go. Now, oftentimes we'll say stuff like squeeze the shoulder blades. That doesn't mean you start hunching and pulling them together. What you want to do is actually slide your shoulder blade down or depress your shoulder blade and that way you're pulling it into your lats to allow you to use those big back muscles rather than seizing up in through your neck so you want to make sure you're maintaining lots of space between the ear and shoulder as you do this so once again it's not about quantity it's about quality so really pause to make your abs and core really work then strong pull really feel that resistance with the air oh all right, then we're gonna go into good old high-low planks. Once again, Bruce the therapy dog <laughs> sensing, <Hi. laughs> sensing distress, Aww. coming right over immediately. All right, here we go. <clears throat> now, oftentimes we put so much focus here that we allow our hips to rock while we're doing this and we don't wanna be rocking through the hips. So what you can do is put something light on your low back, like a, a really light book, or your TV remote, or if you have a light plate or something like that, like a, a weighted plate, not like a dinner plate. But that way you can feel it shift on your low back as you're rocking, and that will keep you honest. Because if it flips off or it starts moving a lot, it means you're rocking through your hips instead of squeezing your abs and your butt the whole time. Three seconds. There we go. Ooh, all right, guys. One more final round. So nice deep, deep breaths. Back to staggered push-ups. Okay, so again, you're doing them on your toes or on your knees, depending on your fitness level. Ready? Yes. Oh, come on. A little bit more excitement. Yeah. Right, guys? Nice. All right, slow control here. Again, the slower you do this, the more challenging and effective this becomes, okay? So really just kind of set up Make sure you pay attention to the placement of your hands each time you switch and alternate, keeping your hips parallel to the ground. 
we have 20 seconds left on this here. So if you're starting to notice your form goes, you're starting to arch your back or drop your hips, drop down onto your knees and just keep going with the modified version, okay? And we have five seconds, last couple of reps here, nice and strong, push all the way to the end. Two, one, awesome, beautiful. All right, tricep dips. It's nice having the pine needles on the ground. It's a nice little aromatherapy as I do each rep. <laughs> it's very calming for the distress in my soul. All right, here we go. There you go, please, that was smart. So I guess stay nice and close to the chair, the couch, whatever it is that you're using for those tricep dips. Now you wanna make sure that your elbows are bending and shooting all the way back rather than out. So you wanna make sure you're not flaring the elbows out on, on the way down or on the way up. You're trying to really keep them nice and close to the side of your torso with the shoulders down and your chest beautifully open, abs engaged, nice, slow, controlled. And we have 10 seconds to go. Five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome, beautifully done. All right, last two. Then you can go about your lovely fall day. All right, here we go. Getting ourselves ready. We're doing those nice, delightful uh, horizontal pulls. As always, really be aware of your hips. Don't let them be rocking. So it's okay to take your feet a little bit wider if you need to and once again this is an easy movement to remember so put all your focus in your abs and in your butt to make sure your core is nice and engaged and then really feel really grab and pull what you don't want to do is rock so if you feel like you're starting to rock again pop down to your knees do a couple of reps until you feel strong enough, then pop back up onto your toes. You got three more seconds. Just three. Woo. All right. Uh, high low planks, absolute delight. So remember, you really wanna think about driving that hand through the ground to get you up. You wanna activate that chest. If you just lightly press, you're gonna to put too much emphasis on your elbow, and we don't want that. So here we go. Nice strong plank. We're doing the uh, oh. high-low, yeah. There we go. <laughs> I got stuck on the lap pull. She's just so excited. So excited. So watch Dee as she presses up with this hand, right where her elbow was, strong press, really using that chest. Nice slow lower too, just don't let yourself drop down. Notice Dee just kind of controls the lower. Make the muscles work on the way up and on the way down because it's way more fun. And that's what it's all about, isn't it? It's about fun. And we got about three more seconds. Two and... Activity completed. Yes, Whoa. it is. So, there you go. That's just 15, well, literally 12 minutes when you do your warm up and cool down. Under 15 minutes, you've done a great upper body workout, engaging your abs as well. Uh, yeah, and we'd love for you to check out our program. So hit the link. Uh, in our bio and check out our programs. This was from our 30 day badassery 1.0. 2.0 is dropping soon. Very excited about that program. So keep your eyes out for that. And uh, YouTube, check out our YouTube channel, link in bio. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys next time. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. Have a wonderful day, everyone. A wonderful day. <laughs>